that today's socks needed me to actually talk about them. So I will put the pattern and the yarn on the screen because I cannot recall off the top of my head what either of those are because these are my oldest pair of socks that I have for myself. Um, I can't remember when I knit these. I know we lived in North Carolina, but these are the oldest pair of socks that I have. Um, I, before knitting these, had only ever knit socks for my kids, friends, and then finally I decided, why don't I knit a pair for myself? We had moved to North Carolina. It was a little bit colder, so I thought it was a great time to knit a pair of socks for myself. I believe these are out of Knit Pick Stroll. Not positive on that, but I believe. And yeah, you can see they have held up great there's definitely some pilling but that's gonna happen um when they are as old as these are but no holes no issues these have been washed and dried in the washer and dryer i cannot even tell you how many times i wear them quite often because i just love them so much and they still look great like i said some pilling but you're you're gonna have that with socks um when you wear them as, as many times as these have been worn. So another thing I wanted to talk about while I was on here showing my socks is how I, I wash and dry my socks in the machines. I've talked about this before, but it is something that I get asked quite often, um, especially when new people come to the channel and realize that I wash and dry these in machines. They are shocked and they want to know how. So I, Ages ago, when I first started knitting socks, only had a few, so I would hand wash them and hang them up to dry or lay them flat to dry or something like that. But we have so many hand knit socks. And like I said, these are my oldest pair and they do not have holes. <laughs> they still look great. They're still wearable. So I kind of, I guess, stopped thinking I need to hand wash them. It was like, I'm going to machine wash these. Like for a while I did them in delicate bags in the washer and then still hung them up or laid them flat to dry. But eventually I gave that up as well. Now I toss them in the washing machine, regular old Tide powder detergent, and I do the most delicate cycle that my machine will do, the coldest water it will do, and I wash them in the machine. 
no bags or anything. I just toss them in. The dryer, I do the most delicate cycle I can on there, lowest heat I can, put a dryer sheet in there, and dry them. And like I said, I do not know how many times these have been washed and dried in the machines, but they still look great. I have had a few socks the colors fade, but even when I used to hand wash, I would have some colors fade. So I do not feel that it is something that the machine does more than hand washing. I think it's just maybe the dyes or the, the yarns themselves. I'm not sure. It's not like it's one particular yarn that does it. It's just here and there I will have certain colors fade. Um, so I don't feel like that's that's just the machine. But yeah, that's how I do our socks now. I just wait. We have so many of them now that I just wait until we have a decent sized load and then I throw them in the washing machine. But I thought I would talk about these socks instead of just putting the information on the screen so that I could show you my oldest pair of hand knit socks that I have. I, I knit some before these, like I said, for friends, my kids, um, back when they used to wear socks <laughs> or hand knit socks. They still wear socks, but they don't wear hand knit socks any longer. But anyways, yeah, that's today's socks. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, December 6th. I've been busy getting stuff done around the house. I've got lots of laundry to do today, so that is going. I'm gonna sit down and answer some emails. I need to run back upstairs and pour myself another cup of coffee first before I dive in, but yeah. It's been a busy morning already this morning. It is, I guess it's only, it's not even 9.30 yet. That's great, because <laughs> I feel like I've gotten so much done already and it's not even 9.30. I love when days like that happen. I've been slacking on putting my markers in my socks. So now I am catching up on that. If you don't know why I do this, I do have a video here on my YouTube. I will link it down below. Um, it helps to keep track of rounds. And then my second sock, I, I show on the video how I do it, but I take them off and move them to the second sock as I'm knitting it. Um, and then the socks match and you don't have to go back and count your rounds unless you do this and you don't put them in as you're knitting. <laughs> and then you have to go back and add them in. But it makes the second sock go so much quicker, I think. just finished eating some lunch and while I was eating lunch I was looking through some YouTube comments from the past couple of vlogmas episodes I try so hard to keep up with those I could get a bit behind on them when I'm doing vlogmas because you're posting every day so there's more comments but I try so hard to keep up with them heart them let you guys know that I do read them um, answer any questions there might be but I I know one question I've had pop up quite a few times or just comments um, that you guys would like to see the boys and where are the boys? Why don't I show the boys more? And I've, I've touched on this a bit previously in the past, but I know you guys, if you've watched for a long time, know that the boys used to be on my videos. Austin used to do takeovers. They loved it. Um, but as they've gotten older, Austin's 17 now and Wyatt is 14, they really do not want to be on YouTube. They don't want to be on social media. Um, they just don't want me sharing that stuff publicly, them, that stuff, them, <laughs> um, with 
you know, just publicly with such a large audience. And I fully respect that. You know, as their mother, I'm respecting their their wishes, their boundaries that they've set in their play, into place, their privacy that they they want. So this this is just me respecting their wishes um, that they, you know, they don't want their life put out there to such a large audience um, and publicly for anyone to see. So that is why you do not see them. That is just a, a choice that they've made. And really, I kind of applaud them for at their age in the world we live in today where social media is such a big part of everyone's life. I really... I really applaud them for making that choice for themselves and being vocal with me about it and knowing they can be vocal with me about that. Um, that, you know, they don't, they don't really want to be on here. So if you do see little snippets of them here and there, it's usually tiny little things and it's because they've said, okay, that's all right to post. <laughs> um, but they do just really want their privacy and, and I respect that. So that is why you don't really see them on here anymore. <laughs> excited that Sarah of Love Sock Wool has a new episode up. That just made my heart so happy. I immediately turned it on. I love watching her. I've had a lot of comments asking if I ever did time myself or what was my time on a square for my cozy memories. And I actually forgot, but I just did it. <laughs> Why I kept forgetting, I don't know. It's like I would sit down and be, probably hear the ice maker, um, be so excited to add a square in that I would just forget to start the timer. And then I would remember like halfway through and I was like, Ugh. but I just finally did it. And it was about 25 minutes approximately. Um, cause I, I mean, I did, I stopped and was on my phone a few times and all of that. So it was about 25 minutes and that was for a square where I did not have to cast on any stitches because some of them, when you're starting, like when I'm starting a new round, some of them I do have to cast on. Um, but yeah, I timed myself on this one. This was the polka dot Creek for today and yeah, about 25 minutes. So that's not bad, um, at all. So about an hour and a half ish of knitting on this every day to add in the three squares. Gracie, honey, you have 20 minutes. She's looking at me like, is it time for my dinner? No, you have 20 minutes. 20 minutes, girlfriend. She starts about 20 minutes before <laughs> it's time for dinner. But yeah, I've got all three of my squares added in. I have one more load of laundry that should be dry. And then I'm done with laundry, so I'm gonna go grab that out of the dryer get it folded and put away. The table is full over there of laundry for the kiddos to put away. There comes one of them right now. So yeah, about the time of day, everybody comes home, starts settling in for the evening. I think Eric is making, I think he said chicken spaghetti for dinner. I don't know if he's made this before or if it's a new recipe, but it sounds really good. So he's making that for dinner. I'm kind of hoping maybe we'll go get milkshakes after dinner this evening. We'll see. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Do you want me to cut that out? Okay. All right, laundry is done. Boys have, well, 
Wyatt's got his chores done. Austin still has some chores to finish up, but I just sat back down to weave in some ends on my cozy memories, and I will try to record how I weave in my ends with the Susan Bates finishing needles. So I do have a tutorial here on my YouTube for how I weave in my ends. I have two, weaving in ends as you go and then like my traditional way. And I'll just be doing it the traditional way, but I've had some people ask how I do it on the blanket. Um, you can definitely check out that tutorial for more of an actual tutorial. I weave them in the exact same way on this blanket as in that video. I think I showed it on socks in the video, I think. Um, but I'll try to do a little video. Definitely won't be a tutorial, but I'll do a little video of it. I'm just gonna do the ones, I only ever do the ones that are already surrounded by squares, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I think I'll just do all of those right now while I'm doing it. I was just going to do the center four, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be like, no, I want to work on socks. Calvin's up there to get away from Dexter. I can hear him chasing Calvin. He loves to chase Calvin. We've already had a change of plans for dinner. <laughs> Eric is going to make chicken spaghetti. I think I told you guys that. But then Austin asked if we could have canes for dinner. Um, and he's actually not working this evening, so he's gonna be home. He works a lot of evenings. So I asked Eric if that was okay if we change dinner plans. So we are gonna do Raising Cane's and then we'll do milkshakes another night. So it should be a pretty relaxing evening. We're getting dinner. Austin has even offered to go pick up Cane's for dinner. So I don't even have to go pick it up. I don't have to do dishes. <laughs> it will be. A really relaxing evening. I'm kind of here for it.